Konnichiwa YouTube, it is Heartbroken Biker. I am here at Yamaha, my favorite Pearl Yamaha here in Gachiboli, and I came to get some stuff done when Venkat over here. Venkat, trailer. Uh, Hi. Venkat is telling me to leave my RN5 and buy the new FZ. So let's see what is there in the FZ. Venkat, should I buy the Rio FZ? Yeah. Anta anta? Yeah. RN5 bade manta? Ayya. Sir. Emundi baba bande. So I'm asking Venki's opinion because Venki rides every bike that comes to the showroom. He does. He is involved in the PDI team and he rides every bike. And even R3, I asked his opinion. Uh, he rides two Yamahas. He has two Yamahas and uh, he has experience on all of these bikes. Not just riding it but maintaining them. So Venki is gonna tell us about FZ. Venki, FZ nachinda. Yeah, that's why I answer. Ten volts injector. Ten volts. Ten volts. Ten na. Ten volts injector and LED headlights. Yeah, LED headlights. Very nice. Front and back displays. Yeah. Rear display and two-tone diagram, diameter, so, and the power footprint. First thing I notice in the bike is oil, this. Oil cooler. This is the oil cooler. Yeah. It's uh, braided for some reason. So this looks pretty good. The engine block again is a 250. Looks pretty good. Look at this. All this display. That's actually nice. You guys haven't put fuel for us. You need to give me some fuel. So, uh, looks like the... RPM range is still 10,000 RPM ish, uh, but that's not the main thing here. The main thing I noticed is this one this throttle. This throttle is way different, and I wish I had this kind of throttle in R15. It is very, uh, I can feel every rotation, like every spin of it, every small minute spin of this R15. I can feel every minute spin of the uh, throttle moving in this, and this feels very, very crisp. I don't know how it will feel on the road. Uh, yeah, so but Venki says this bike has been very stable in the corners, aren't they? No? Yeah. Charles stable won't in the bike the corners. Yeah. Naked bikes, uh, like, still no, like, corner lo lean over and ki, hmm. you felt. Yeah. Day, but FZ uh, version 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3 is very good control in the bike. Chala control, okay. So, so another thing, switch gears are really uh, looking nice. They don't look uh, bad quality or anything. The pass is here. Uh, yeah, pretty good uh, switch case. There's this dual tone tank over here. Looks nice, but uh, coming to the rear side, there are these scoops. Check this out, these scoops. I think they work. They're not fake scoops or anything, but I think they work. When you see the tail lights, these are reminiscence of uh, FZ1, right? They look pretty much like the old FZ1's tail lights, which look very beautiful, actually. Uh, the good thing, the good thing I always appreciate is this the oil chambers being uh, outside the brake oil at least so that you can uh, fix your stuff yourself this plate looks very nice neatly done unlike the earlier versions there's this curving and all that so a lot of detail has gone into the bike it comes with mrf nylo grip though zapper yeah so it, this comes with mrf nylo grip zapper as too i see and this is very stable like this doesn't rattle around uh, like couple of bikes have it. This is pretty pretty stable. Right. Finally, this is a 220 mm disc. This reminds you of Charisma days. Uh, this will give you a lot of stopping power. Uh, 220, I think 282 in the front. Yeah, this look, it looks pretty good in uh, in person than actually in uh, photos. Uh, check this out, there is a blue color, there is a black color, right? Up, yeah, upstairs there is a black color, maybe I'll get a small view of it now. But my favorite is white. This actually look, gives it the proper big bike FZ feel uh, with all the panels actually showing off because no other color does justice to their design. I feel uh, than a lighter color because it brings out all the grooves and all that. Right, so now for the thing you guys have been always waiting for. Yeah. The exhaust node of the bike. Okay, okay. 
So as you guys can see, it is uh, very throaty, throaty exhaust. It uh, is not dying like a kind of a thing, uh, which comes because of its 250cc single pot. All right, so here's the black. As you can see, not much bodywork visible. <laughs> you wouldn't even figure out that this is a 250 instead of a 150 unless you probably see the headlights, right? So the only in white, it looks like a 250, isn't it? It shows basically, it shows because there's a there's a blue 150 also over there. So lighting should huh? High beam pass. Nice. Nice. Very good, sir. High beam pass. So that's it, guys. I actually came to get some other work done, and I think the parts counter is closed. I wanted to go there. That was the main reason I came here. Uh, but because the FZ was here, I wanted to show it to you guys. When get parts close up, complete job. Shit. Okay, I have to come back another day. And maybe that day if I get to test ride this, I'll let you know. So I'm looking at the spec sheet now and uh, a small little disappointment is I wish there was more power in it. It's 21, 21 bhp, but 20 newton meters of torque. And uh, it's got a 5 gear. So it doesn't have that taller gear. But I hope the 5th gear ratio is done properly and it's got a 14 litre fuel tank so uh, yeah a little bit of disappointment over there uh, keep, to keep up with the times Yamaha but then uh, pretty good white colour again my favourite my intention is not to review or anything I don't like reviewing bikes it's all about just what I feel and there is John Abraham so that's it guys I hope you loved it if you want uh, please come to Pearl Yamaha and check out the bike uh, let Venkat know so Venkat or Vinay will be here to help you out and uh, I service my bike here. I've been uh, pretty long time associated with these guys. So this is it guys. Uh, I hope you loved it. This is Heartbroken Biker. I'll be signing off. Do check out my other videos which will be on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Sayonara. This is, this is so nice. It's small. <laughs> and no bulbs. Check this out. No bulbs. All LEDs. No bulbs. LED and reflector guys. Huh?